An estate plan gives you control over your assets during your life and after your death and prevents disputes or confusion among your heirs. It's also a good way to make sure you don't leave your money to your ex. And Charles Schwab Vice President and Financial Consultant Michael Bonds is here with some good advice. Michael, welcome back. Always a pleasure to have yeah, you, sir. It's good to be back. Fall time of the year. It's always a beautiful time. That's right. Turkey, so That's right. It sure is. Good time to be in New Mexico. Well, in, in all fairness, this, this is more about real estate planning, right? It's about estate planning. Estate you're ab planning. you're, you're Sorry. absolutely Not correct. Not real estate you're planning. Absolutely estate correct planning. About it. And believe it or not, people do die. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter if they have a lot of money or not, right. they do die. And uh, you'd be surprised at uh, the sizable amounts of wealth that are left to ex wives, ex husbands, even people you haven't seen in 30 years. Really? Right? So wow. uh, it's easily done, but it's also easily corrected. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you're just like everyone else. You probably have old 401ks from mm -hmm. previous employers, right. IRAs life insurance policies, SAG pensions, mm -hmm. those kinds of yep. things. Yep, sure do. Yeah. yeah, so because, you know, let's assume that we've got, because you're right, I've got a couple of those going out there. I'm sure a lot of folks uh, have similar things. What should we do uh, and what is, what is the first thing that we should change on these accounts that are out there? Well, the first thing you want to do is list them because I think you'd be surprised at how many you actually have. Mm -hmm. And then speaking with a financial professional such as those at Charles Schwab, you can mm -hmm. determine how you can kind of gather those up and consolidate them. Mm -hmm. So that kind of shrinks the pile a little bit. Right. And once that's done, list out your beneficiaries. Now, beneficiaries are basically who you're designating will get the assets or the benefits after your death. Mm -hmm. uh, great estate plans, one of the key to that, uh, to those is that uh, on IRAs, 401ks, pensions, stock purchase plans, those types of things, life insurance policies that you designate a beneficiary and that the names are correct. So you want to list them all out. Okay, okay. Now, a lot of people might be confused on this, and this is good for me. Why isn't a will enough? I mean, wouldn't a will kind of cover that? Well, a lot of people will keep their wills up to date, which is something that I encourage them to do. Mm -hmm. However, a will has to go through probate. Okay. And a lot of people feel that if they, they have this all designated in their will, they don't have to worry about putting designated beneficiaries down, but don't count on it. Right. Because the time consumption of the court system, probate takes a long time. Mm -hmm. But on IRAs, 401ks, pensions, those types of things, life insurance policies, those monies go directly to the beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. And by the time probate is completed, those assets have probably already been dispersed. Wow. Okay. So that's uh, that's really important. And you know, I think in this day and age, a lot of people they do change careers. They've got you know, um, they've got a lot of accounts to keep track of and keep their hands on. So um, you're saying that we should we should keep track of these on a regular basis. I mean, that makes sense. You know, right. and right. of course that makes sense. Sometimes it's not easy to do, but really we should be looking at this after a major life event, like say a divorce or something like correct. that. Correct. Yeah. I mean, there's certain things you can't control after right. death, but this is one that you can. So reviewing them on a regular basis, uh, at least once a year, twice a year at the very minimum, mm -hmm. or excuse me, once every two years, I should say. Mm -hmm. uh, and if any life events, so if you get married, divorce, death of a spouse, death of a parent, birth of a child. Mm -hmm. And as you said, even when you change careers, change jobs, change states, it's a good time to go back through, make sure that all the things are correct as far as the beneficiary is concerned. So there's three things you really need to remember. One, review your accounts, mm -hmm. know where they are. Two, if you do have a will, make sure you know the rules and the limitations to the will. Okay. And three, review them on a regular basis. And what's the process of setting one of these up? Uh, just come in. We can visit with any of our financial professionals. We can take a look at all of your assets, where mm -hmm. they are, can tell you which ones can be com combined, mm -hmm. makes your life a little bit simpler, and certainly will make your heir's life a little bit simpler. Mm -hmm. And then from that point on, we can help you with uh, filling out the proper paperwork for the mm -hmm. beneficiaries. Yeah, and that's always, you know, uh, you, you mentioned it, it's really important making the, the heir's life a lot simpler, of course that time of grief, there's so many things up in the air. Yeah. And so yeah. being able to have a, a professional like yourself or one of your associates helping us out, I mean, that, that right. really helps because there are a million things we're not thinking about. So if we're in a position, unfortunately, we come across one of these major life events, we need your help. How can we schedule an appointment with you or one of the other financial consultants? Just, just give us a call locally here in Albuquerque at 505-878-1320. Okay. Uh, and we'll set something up with one of the five financial professionals that we have here in the Albuquerque area. Okay. And we can just analyze your scenario, figure out what the best options are going to be financially for you. And this is all complimentary. Oh, complimentary. Yeah. We always like that sound. Thing. Michael, always a pleasure, it's sir. Good to see you. We'll see you again soon, okay? Yep. All right.